Hey, this is Monte Camaro Man coming at you with some more information about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, according to the latest information I got, we'll be wearing a powered suit that whole entire game, which is pretty interesting enough. And I got other high tech gadgets like the directed energy weapons, the MRAP, the grenades that reveal where enemies are in your visor, like that one grenade on uh, Black Ops 2, and hover bikes, and possibly some heavy specialized drones. Uh, I know last video I named it Modern Warfare 4, but don't worry, now I know that it's called Advanced Warfare. It is still made by Sledgehammer though. Uh, anyways, as uh, interestingly enough, the EXO suit can be upgraded by spending points earned in completed missions, giving the story mode a whole new role playing element, excuse me. <sighs> as usual, at this stage, Activision isn't saying anything about the multiplayer, although they did confirm the existence of unspecified co-op mode. However, the fact that you're wearing the suit the whole entire game strongly suggests that it's probably part of the competitive multiplayer experience as well. Moving on, the game's story is set in 2054, which is the furthest in the future any Call of Duty game has been. Black Ops 2 was in was 2025. It involves a terrorist organization called the KVA who commit a global 9-11 style event. You play Private Mitchell, who's part of Kevin Spacey's PMC from the trailer. Uh, Mitchell is voiced by Tro Troy Baker, surprisingly enough, who's becoming much more like the new Nolan North after voicing Joel in The Last of Us, Booker DeWitt from Bioshock Infinity, Delson from Infamous, Second Son, and even the Joker in Batman Arkham Origins. The game's soundtrack will be provided by Metal Gear Solid composer Harry Gregson Williams. Whew, made it through that, <laughs> and I probably butchered that Batman Arkham, but whatever. As previously assumed, given the trailer, only mentions the Xbox One version, the downloadable content for Advanced Warfare will still be released a month early on Xbox formats. The game itself though will be released on all current formats, seemingly excluding the Wii U on November 4th. Finally, US retailer GameStop is offering a pre-order bonus where you can get exclusive personalization pack downloads for use in Call of Duty, Ghosts, and Black Ops 2. It involves a new gun skin, a Sentinel Task Force patch, an advanced warfare themed player card, new reticle, and player background. Uh, that's all the new information I have for you today. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. It really helps my channel grow, and I'm trying to get my channel out there a little bit more now. I'm doing more of these videos for you guys, so you guys know some more information about the new games coming up or the games I've been playing. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you.